Let's take a look at question number seven from homework 11. Um, basically what I've done is I've made a PDF file. You can download the PDF file off of the homework help site. You can use that. Um, you can follow along while I'm going through on the video. This is the file that I've got saved on there is the exact same file that you're looking at on your screen right now. So once you've watched the video, it might be helpful for you to, uh, to take a look at that so that you can follow along while you're working your own question. All right, so what does the question say? They are telling us that we want to make an open box. An open box just means that there's no top on the box. We're just gonna have a base and four sides. And it's gonna be made from a sheet of tin that's nine inches square. And we're gonna make it by cutting out identical squares from each corner and bending up the flaps. They want us to determine the dimensions of the largest box that can be made. And we need to round our answers to two decimal places going to stop right there. Some of you may have come up with correct answers. You're sure you've got the right answer for this, but maybe you forgot to round to two decimal places. Say you had the same number that I have here. Say you had nine and you came up with 1.5 for the height, you have to enter 1.50. And you came up with six for the length and width, you have to enter 6.00. So there's a very good chance that if you've got this correct, uh, that you just forgot to round to two decimal places. So if that's the case, plug it in in the correct format and you should be all set. Um, then you don't have to watch the rest of the video, you've got this piece of cake. Now, if you haven't gotten the answers yet, you don't know how to get them, stick with me and I will walk you through it. So first thing we need to do, because they didn't do it for us, is make a drawing. It is almost impossible to solve these kinds of questions without making a drawing because we don't even know what we're talking about. So here's my, my drawing. I've got a nine inch square sheet of tin and we're cutting identical squares out of the corner. So each of these, uh, we don't know how big it's going to be, so we'll just say that they're x by x squares. We'll figure out what x is. That's the whole point of this question. But for now, since we don't know how big they are, we'll just say that they're x. So if I cut an x by x square out of one corner, I have to cut that same x by x square out of all the other corners. Well, what does that look like? That should probably be another picture at this point. So let's take a look at what happens if we cut out the corners. And if we draw the right picture, we're gonna figure out what the dimensions of the base of our box are. Okay, so here's my original nine by nine square, but I've cut out an X by X square on each side. So that means the width of the base of my box, because I'm gonna be folding up these sides, they're just like flaps. Once I fold them, that's gonna be the sides of my box. Uh, but that means that the, the base is going to be 9 minus 2x. I started with 9, and I took x away here and x away here. And the length is going to be 9 minus 2x, because I started with a full 9, and I'm taking away x here and x here. So that's 9 minus 2x for both the length and the width. So that tells me that my base, the base of my box, because we know what, what length and width are, the base of my box is going to be 9 minus 2x times 9 minus 2x. We don't know what the x is yet, but it doesn't matter because it's going to be the same for every time we see that x, so this formula stands. The base is going to be 9 minus 2x times 9 minus 2x. So we want to optimize volume. They're asking us to find the, the best volume that we can get out of this box, so we need the formula for volume. That formula, that's length times width times height. So we have our length, we found that up here, that was the nine minus two X. We have our width, that's the nine minus two X. But now think about it for a second. What's our height? Well, if I fold one of these flaps up, the height is just going to be X. I fold these flaps up, my box is going to be X inches high because that's the length of these flaps. So I need length is nine minus two X times width is nine minus two X times height is X. And all I did here was multiplied out. I did the foiling that gave me this here. And then I distributed the X here and just kind of changed the order around so that my highest power of X is at the beginning. So, you know, nine times nine, 9 times negative 2, 9 times negative 2x, uh, and then negative 2x times negative 2x, and I end up, basically, once you've simplified it, with 4x cubed minus 36x squared plus 81x. So now we need to optimize. How do we optimize? We take the derivative. So my volume formula that I came up with, which is just the same formula I came up with on the last page here, 
4x cubed minus 36x squared plus 81x, I take the derivative. That's how we optimize. That's the first step in figuring out what the biggest volume is going to be. So I take my derivative. 3 times 4 is going to give me 12x squared because I have to lower the exponent. Uh, 2 times 36 is going to give me 72x. Again, I have to lower the exponent. And then the derivative of 81x is 81. So here is my derivative. That's my v prime. That's the thing I need to set equal to 0 and solve for x. So 12x squared minus 72x plus 81 equals 0. You want to work with those big numbers? I don't want to work with those big numbers. I'm going to make that as small as I possibly can. So I'm just going to divide both sides of this by 3. That's what I did here. I divided that by 3. That gave me 4x squared. I divided this by 3. That gave me 24x. I divide, or negative 24x. And I divided this by 3. And that gave me 27. And if I divide 0 by 3, I get 0. So I've kind of simplified this. And now I have to factor it. I, the way I factored it is I knew that for this 4x squared that I was going to need a 2x times a 2x. I see that I have a positive and a negative here. I've got minus and plus. So I knew that I needed something that added up to 24 in the middle, negative 24 in the middle. So I was going to need negative numbers and that multiplied to positive 27. I need two negative numbers to be able to get a positive here and a negative here. All right, and the numbers that I came up with, the numbers that work in this case, are three and nine. If you're not sure how I came up with those, okay, you're gonna, for your question, you're going to have two x as the first part of this, and you're gonna have a minus and a minus. I want you to look at your middle number and divide it by two. In my case, it was negative 24 divided by two was gonna give me negative 12. I needed two numbers that multiplied, or that added up to equal negative 12, that multiplied to equal 27. And those two numbers, if I add negative 3 to negative 9, I'm going to get negative 12. I multiply the two of them together, I'm going to get positive 27. So that's my thought process. If you're not good with the factoring, um, you're going to need to see me sometime because we really need to work on that because you need to be able to do it. Uh, so anyway, once you've got your two terms here, you know that if we've got this equal to zero, that either 2x minus 3 equals zero, or 2x minus 9 equals zero. So we solve those. We get 2x minus 3, that gives us x equals 3 halves. Uh, this 2x minus 9 gives us x equals 9 halves. So I've got some news for you. 9 halves, that's 4 and a half. If I have my x equaling 4 and a half, let's go back and look at that box really quickly. If this is 4 and a half, and this is 4 and a half, that's my entire 9 inches there. And we can't have that. That's not a box. It's not going to have any, it's, there's, there's no way to fold it. Because my flap would go to here, it would go to here, and it would go down to here, and down to here. It's not a box. That's impossible. So we know that we can't use this 9 and a half, so we need x equals 3 halves. Well, what do we do with x? x was the height of our box, so we've got one of our answers right now. Remember when we looked at the picture up here, x was the height of the box. When we fold those flaps up, x tells us the height. They're asking us for the height here. My height is 3 halves right here. So I'm going to put it in decimal form, round to two places, two decimal places. That's 1.5. And now I know the formula for my length and width is the same. We found that formula before. It was 9 minus 2x. I'm just going to plug in what I found for x. 9 minus 2 times 1 and a half is 9 minus 3, which is 6. But we need those two decimal places for it to be correct. So both my length and width, because it's a square, they're the same. They're going to be 6, or 6.00 when we enter them in. And I hope this gives you uh, a step in the right direction on this. Uh, like I said, you can print out the PDF or take a look at the PDF to help you as you work through this with your own numbers.